This is so ironic that Donnie and I recently, 10 days ago, just went to American Picker star Mike Wolf's, one of his businesses in Columbia, Tennessee, where he stores some of his picks and finds Columbia Motor Alley, which is located in Columbia, Tennessee. We recently went there 10 days ago. I posted the blog on this channel. Be sure you go check it out. Guess what? Guess what? Yesterday, y'all, at the time of recording this video, yesterday, February 7th, 2024 to be exact, Mike Wolf, American Picker star, was spotted in our hometown, Tupelo, Mississippi. Baby, I was born and raised in Tupelo, Mississippi. That is Elvis Presley's birthplace. We already have heard that Mike has been making his appearances and his rounds around Northeast Mississippi. Here, he was spotted with a fan outside of Tupelo Hardware. He was also spotted in another small town, Houston, Mississippi, where he was allegedly there at an estate sale. He had been buying some bicycles, some bikes, some cool stuff. I think this is very, very cool. Very cool. Shout out to Mike Wolf. I'm going to tell you something. We have got so many antiques and vintage things around here. I'm sure you do as well. They are always looking for different places to go, different cool, unique items to pick and showcase on their show. So hit them up. Look them up, American Pickers. They always have their contact info, how you can get in touch with them and let them know what you have. Maybe they can, you know, connect with y'all and you can have that experience because I think that is very cool. Now, I want to tell y'all, I'm a vintage fanatic. Donnie and myself love some antiques and vintage finds. So when we heard about Mike's Columbia Motor Alley and it was allegedly a place where he showcases some of his finds like automobiles, bicycles, some things like that. I was like, oh, this would be perfect for us. Not only do we love this kind of stuff, I'm all into the the entertainment industry, the reality TV of it all. You get what I'm saying? Perfect. So we took the three-hour drive up there. My only disappointment was we didn't get to see very much at all inside the actual place. Now, it's kind of advertised like you can go in and see a lot of his cool finds. But you see this little round part on the right side of the picture? That's the little store part, and that's where they have their merch on sale. Like, for example, this beanie that we got. By the way, uh, in my opinion, overpriced $30 for this beanie. But hey, we like to support people. We like to get souvenirs and things from places where we travel and go, so... We got a $30 beanie. We also got a decal. But I'm going to tell you something. We didn't get to see much at all. There was a young gentleman working there. And he was kind of like sketched out. I was asking about the different, you know, finds that he had in there. And we only got to see like one bicycle. <laughs> and then dude was like, I don't know. It, it just felt like he was rushing us out of there. It wasn't a good experience, and it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting to see more fines and things because they do advertise that place, Columbia Motor Alley, as a place where Mike Wolf, you know, showcases his fines. So it was just kind of, it just felt weird to me, okay? It felt weird. We were the only people there, and the young gentleman, the young guy working there, it was just... I don't know. He was asking us why we were there. It was it was weird to me. I don't know. Donnie was like, people are different, man. I don't know. I just, I wouldn't ask him out like, why are you here? You get what I'm saying? That was, was kind of off-putting, but I mean, hey, that's just our honest review of the place. Now, Mike also has a few businesses in Columbia, Tennessee. Mike also bought an old business that he turned into a restaurant or that's going to be a restaurant we didn't see this restaurant this particular business and they aren't really advertising the location of it 
So when they do, or if they do, then we might make a trip back or when we're headed up to Nashville, we might stop in and check it out. I think it might be cool, but I don't know. The Motor Alley experience was a little odd. It was like really mysterious and secretive. It was like we walked into this secret underground club. You get what I'm saying? But dude's like, why are you here? <laughs> what brings y'all here? Um, okay, I don't know. Mike Wolf from American Pickers is advertising this as his business and wants his fans and followers to come check it out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he should let his employees know, hey, I'm advertising this business, so you might have some out-of-towners come in, tourists, fans, etc. Make them feel at home. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, but everybody's different. Maybe the restaurant experience will be a completely different experience. I would love to go check it out. I really would. I'm sure Donnie would as well. Either way, I think it's very cool that Mike made a trip to our hometown of Tupelo, Mississippi. Hey, hey. And I think it is very, very cool that he is going to normal, everyday people's properties and going through their stuff, buying things from them. That right there. That right there helps people more than not because a lot of this stuff is just sitting around in people's yards and people's barns and people's houses in storage. And a lot of these people are also struggling financially. You get what I'm saying? So by Mike going to these people, it's helping in more ways than one. Not only is he bringing these old things, these old items back to life, he is helping the people along the way. And that speaks volumes to me. It really does. It's kind of like he's giving back and putting that money that he's making back to people. Everyday working, hardworking people. You know? Passionate people. Passionate picking people. Either way, it was cool that Mike Wolf was in Tupelo, Mississippi. You can catch Mike on American Pickers, which is in the middle of a new season so go check it out on the history channel new episodes just aired last night to be exact wednesday nights history channel check them out i love you so much for watching like and share this video be sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with all your entertainment news and gossip that matters to me i love you for watching i will see y'all in my next video by the way if you want to check out some of our southern adventures, some of our explorations and finds, come on over to our vlog channel, Southern Adventures. It is linked in the description of every video. And follow us on Facebook.